Okay, so I'm just launching Berry Boot, and you'll see here if I hit the edit menu, uh, you can see Dospian 1.5 Berry Boot. So I've actually managed to convert Dospian to be a Berry Boot image. Uh, and if I go to Add OS and press and hold, uh, copy from USB stick, you'll see that that is the image I created and just added to Berry Boot. So I've now got Dospian working from an SSD, but also working within Berry Boot. And it's all thanks to Berry Converter, uh, which was my previous video. It wasn't working for me, but I had uh, a load of advice in the comments. And it turns out <laughs> I was doing everything right uh, come the end. It was very late when I was finishing it off. But it was I've changed the image to Dospy, and I was using Puppy Linux, and it's worked fine. So if I hit exit now, so this is how it starts up. You can see that it goes into the boot menu, and it counts down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it'll boot Dospian, which I don't think there is a Berry Boot image for. So I've created something that wasn't there before. You can see that that's how Dospian looks. Uh, if I hit exit, you can see that it's in Dospian. It's running from an SSD and it has been converted with Berry Converter. So uh, if I shut that down, and I'll show you the process I used to do it. Okay, so this is my 60 gig physical hard drive, Hitachi drive, uh, which I'm running through a USB adapter with my USB boot fix, uh, and it's working really well. Uh, so let's show you how to do the Berry Converter. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description to Berry Converter, uh, and what you need to do is go to this page and download the file. So here we go, download zip. And that's downloaded. So I don't need that anymore. So unzip that. And these two files need to go in a folder. So I'm going to call this test berry conv. Okay, so there's my new folder. So let's extract, extract to desktop test berry converter open extract so it shouldn't take very long because they're tiny so I can close that down now you need uh, an image that you've downloaded uh, so an image that you'd normally write to Raspberry Pi to an SD card in the standard way I've got Dospian uh, I unzipped Dospian and that file is here so let's just copy that and pop it in this folder close that down now while that's copying over uh, you need to go to terminal and I had a tip from Raspberry Pi projects and more sudo apps dash get install dash y squash fs dash tools now I've already done it so it will come up saying that nothing's changed but if you haven't got it then it'll install it there you go so I can close that down now the other one you need for this under add remove software is k part x so k part x okay so you can see that's got it so it's already ticked so I can click OK that's all installed let's open up this folder uh, and you can see now I've got Dospian in there and Berry Boot Converter .sh. so let's open up the readme file and we need to copy this bit here chmod755 and then we go to tools open current folder in terminal Let's make that a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Hit return. And then we need to copy from the full stop to sh. Hit paste. Uh, so berry boot dash converter dot sh. And then we need to put in dospian 1.5. Dot image so that's the name of this file up here uh, and then we need to put space and then dospian 
1.5 and I'm going to call this b2.img so let's just drag that out a little bit more so it's all on one line so it looks a bit tidier so dot forward slash Barry boot underscore conv dot sh dosbian 1.5 image so this is our original file and dosbian 1.5 b2.image which is the file we want it to create which is a Barry boot converted file so hit return and this is what wasn't happening to me last night so last night I would press this and it would very quickly come up with errors and things uh, the, the things I've changed today uh, so this is running 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS and I'm also using Dospian as the file. So yesterday I was using 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS and it was uh, Puppy Linux that I was trying to convert. So there's two differences yesterday. But what this means uh, while this is doing this is that you can run multiple operating systems with Berry Boot from an SSD or from an SD card. So you can have like five operating systems on a 64 gig SD card or you can have a load of operating systems on a 120 gig or a 500 gig SSD and you can boot between them all. So it uses an SD card to do the initial boot part uh, which is the bit you see with the all the operating systems listed but then as soon as you click on an operating system it moves straight over to SSD or USB stick or whatever you're using to do that. So this is great so this means that I now today I was going to be getting Windows 90, 98 to work uh, in Dospian, which I did get very close yesterday, uh, but today I think I'm going to be trying to convert images to Berry Boot and see what works and what doesn't, uh, because Dospian does work. So thanks to Raspberry Pi Projects and more who said about the Squash FS tools, uh, although I did have that on my 64-bit Raspbian, and Raspberry Pi Projects also references Irie Brothers comment exactly what needed to be typed in. Funnily enough, the first thing I tried was exactly what he said to try. It looks like that puppy Linux file just didn't work for whatever reason. So maybe it's created differently. I know that with Berry Boot, some images uh, can't be converted. And I wanted to try Android and I wanted to try Wimpy's version of um, Ubuntu because that works really well and that would be great to have on this. Okay, so that's all finished. So let's get this full screen. Uh, and you can see it doesn't really come with like uh, it kind of goes through everything um, but it doesn't really say complete or anything like that but obviously it is it is completed so let's close down the terminal so this is my new file so b2 the other one I used uh, at the start of the video was uh, bb uh, for Barry boot and I think I'll probably continue to use bb as uh, as the thing that I uh, I call it because it's easy to search it then um, and so when I put it on my NAS drive I can have a load of Berry Boot images that I've converted. So let's plug in my USB stick and that will show up on the left here, there you go. So hit OK. So you can see I've already got a Dospian image on there, Dospian uh, BB, the original one I created, the first success. Let's drag that over. So we've now got two of them for no reason because they are the same image. OK, so that's copied over, so I just need to eject that. And then I need to restart my computer uh, with uh, a Berry Boot SD card in. And I've got a whole playlist on Berry Boot. And also, probably best to start with this video if you've not used Berry Boot before, but you want to be able to run multiple operating systems from either one SD card or an SSD drive. So let's close that down. OK, so this is Berry Boot starting up now. I need to hit Edit Menu. And then I need to pop my USB stick in one of the USB slots. And then I need to press and hold on Add OS. And it's Copy OS from USB stick. You can see I've got two images here. I've already done BB, uh, but B2, which is my test one, let's hit Open. And that's copying that over. And so you can keep adding to these. Uh, you can use the internet to install uh, lots of different operating systems or you can download images from the Berry Boot website or now you can create your own. Okay, so that's done. So let's tap on that and set default and then exit and that will reboot and it should launch up Dospian. Okay, so it's starting up. I don't need to press anything. I could just hit boot and it would boot the one that's selected but I'll let it go on its own. There you go. 
And so if I type exit, you'll see that it shows the Dospian menu. Uh, and if, you, if you're wondering what this is, uh, it emulates a 486DX old PC. Uh, so before Windows, we had DOS, uh, and there are loads of games. And I've got a video showing you how to run DOS games on this, uh, if you're interested. And I'll put a link in the description to that. But it also, well, I'm trying to run Windows 98 SE from my Raspberry Pi. Uh, and this way, I can do it with multiple operating systems on the same thing. So let's press S and enter to shut that down. And I'll just show you something else booting. Okay, so I'm going to pick Raspberry Pi OS. No, let's pick Twister OS and hit boot. And there you see, and this is all running from the one SSD drive. Okay, so thanks very much to Irie Brother, uh, also to Raspberry Pi Projects. Anybody else who commented uh, and tried to help, thank you very much. Uh, and also thanks to Angelo Lombardo, who uploaded this uh, and created it on GitHub. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.